So for today on this video, I'm gonna just show you um, a collection of VCRs that I got, you know, back in the day. So this VCR, first off, this is one of them. This one is just a, uh, I think it's a J.C. Penny brand, two head. Now, but this one, I've been using this one here and there, you know, like just to play around, you know. I mean, because I remember, like, back in the day, like, you could buy a two-head or a four-head, and the fancy ones back in the 80s and middle 80s, particularly, those, those that you could expect to pay about maybe $700, you know, back in the day, like, for a fancy one. And then, um, <clears throat> like, something like this in the mid-80s, a two-head, a regular, like, two-head VCR front loaders in the mid 80s they typically had them for like maybe two to three hundred dollars or usually three hundred but in mid in mid um 1980s like when my mom bought us a vcr back in the day she paid 228 for that one in zodis at zodis the store zodis I mean, and that VCR did its job well. It was what they call a 14-day, one-event timer. And, you know, like, a lot of these VCRs, they used to typically advertise, like, 14-day. Like, I mean, the feature they used to typically offer is, like, forehead or two-head or 14-day. Typically, a timer was, like, the big thing that they used to offer, you know, timer. And some VCRs had remotes that can control the tuner and with those VCRs if you didn't have a remote TV like you could turn your non remote TV into a remote TV using one of those VCRs that had a, a tuner that remotely like if, you, if it was a full function remote control on the VCR you know so anyway that was just one of the VCRs I'm gonna show you the others that I have in my collection Okay, so I have most of the rest of the VCRs in this closet here. So, well, this is my old school camera here. <laughs> well, anyway, well, there's a cassette deck right there. See, this is like this VCR right here. I don't know. See, this this VCR here is what this one. This VCR is like an early 80s model, and it's a portable VCR. It's like... It was a VCR that was supposed to be used for a video camera. If you had a video camera, this is in the early 80s when when they did not have the all-in-ones. Mm -hmm. So this was a portable VCR. It doesn't work, unfortunately. I mean, well, the player doesn't work. Well, of course, even the tuner is not going to work either because there's no, this is analog. Well, I had the tuner. This was like the tuner. If you remember all this, do you remember all this? Like, we used to have to manually set these on some VCRs. Well, and then the next up, well, this is a newer one. This is like from the 2000s, so I wouldn't even put that in my video. Uh, well, this is also like uh, like 2005 model. I mean, I don't even, but this is the one, These the next three, I want to share these. So this one right here, this is a Magnavox top loader. And this is like, this is kind of like a standard VCR, like a two head model and everything. This is a two head VCR. And the model number is right there. So I'm gonna turn it back around. I plugged it in already. Just so it, so what we can see how it looks. And then this is the, and then the powering up, the channels, if you remember these. Yeah, that, this was like, I think this was a, um, maybe a 14-day, two-one event or something like that. But anyway, I mean, if you remember these, remember that we used to have to do this. And then there's like the time, the display. So there's the front loader. It's a Magnavox. Now the next VCR. Okay, the next up, it's a Magnavox. It's another Magnavox, but this one is a top loader VCR. I mean, now these are more, even more primitive than the than the first. This, 
There's a, this one came out in 1984 or something like that. This is the way it looks. And then the eject have to. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. This is the way it looks when it's on. The counter, and then this is like the channels. This, is, this looks, I believe, is a two head also. And then this, this is the top loaders. Remember these top loaders? This one, I mean, none of these work, or at least they play tapes because I, they need belts or whatever. Remember, like, still, this is kind of like the similar thing, you know? Like, we had to set up the tuner for each, each of these back in the day. So... Okay, now next up it's this super old school VCR. This one's probably from the early 80s or even the late 70s. I didn't even check the research when this came out. It was probably 1981 or something. But here's this is the power switch. Toshiba. It's a beta. This is a beta VCR. And then this one does the ejecting. There's like a very primitive VCR, I would call it. It looks like it's missing a button there. It looks like someone previously set up their um, channels. Because like a lot of people didn't always bother to set up. So, and then, the, you know, over here, you got the speed, if you remember these. See these? only offered two speeds. So this is a very old VCR. Tracking. And then the remote. This is remote control. This wired remote control is for this VCR. If you remember this. Like the wired v the wired remotes. Remember these? I mean, very, I mean, it's not common to come around wired remotes, you know, I mean, this is in the early 80s, you know, like, and I think, and then I still have one more VCR to show here somewhere. So, this one, it's a Sony Super Beta, and I, unfortunately, this little uh, cover is missing from it, but this is, this is a working VCR, and I guess there's a tape in there. And then I hadn't used it in a while. I don't know. I don't even know if it actually works or not. Well, because I hadn't used it in a while, so. Well, anyway, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it now. It doesn't want to work, but I should probably have to fiddle with it a little bit. Well, this is a beta VCR that I have here. I mean, that's just another VCR that I have. I haven't used them in a while, so. I mean, and then of course, you know, this one that I showed earlier, I mean, I had, and I didn't even turn it on, but, I mean, this is the one that I've been using. So now I turned this one on, but this one does work. That I know for sure. It does work. Because I was, yeah, I was just using it the other day. So, well, for this VCR, since it works, I could demo the VCR. Okay, so for the demo, I'm going to put in a tape, so I'm just going to grab one of my home movies that I recorded on this VHS. Well, this is like actually a copy of those VHSs because I used to copy them back in the day. So now i got to turn on the TV. Remember Channel 3? Remember we used to have to put it on Channel 3? Remember this? We used to... We used to see the snowy picture and then and then turn put in the tape. Play the tape. In the camera here and saying that. See this is a working VCR. Remember this? With this VCR, this is an older VCR, so we have to do the tracking because they didn't do the automatic tracking until like later years. So, 
Remember that? Do we remember all this stuff? <laughs> This is like, well, this is a 1996 video, but, I mean, this is a 19, this VCR is from 1984. There's furries. <laughs> it's cute, man. Oh, you. And then, remember that? Yeah, I'm just going to turn it off. And then the jack, remember these? Remember that? Hang on, good. So the final VCR in my to share, it's this JVC. This one is from 1997, and in the and and in these days, that's the one they became really uh, advanced. Like like this was like one of the newer VCRs. And Arnold. My little brother bought my mom this VCR for Christmas, and it was two hundred dollars at the time, one ninety nine. And but this was like a really nice VCR, a really nice one, you know. I mean, forehead slow motion in the works. But today, I still have it from nineteen ninety seven, and this VCR is the one that I'm using right now to transfer all VHSs onto the computer here. That's what I'm, I'm currently using this one and it works pretty good right now. So, okay, well, this wraps it up for this video. That's my VCR collection that I'm sharing. Now that I'm gonna be taking care of the other requests that you guys have. So I hope you liked this video of my VCR collection.